All right, we are going to balance this chemical equation here. And so this is on slide 20 on your slide, but it's also in your documents. We've got potassium, chlorine, and oxygen, and it's going to result or yield potassium and chlorine and some oxygen. So we're going to add some coefficients here and follow the steps we need to do to um, solve this. So the first thing we always do is write the equation. Luckily, this is written for us. And so we can move on to the second step. Second step is to count the number of each element. So I've got K for potassium, Cl for chlorine, and O for oxygen. And I have it on both sides of the equation. Remember we learned about the law of conservation of mass at the previous lesson. And so we know that it's going to have to be the same amount on each side of the equation. Now it's divided here, so we're going to count all the things on the left side first, and then separately count all the things on the right side first. So look up here, um, we have 1K, 1 potassium, 1 Cl, and 3 oxygen. So we write those in below on the left side. On the right side, do the same thing. We count there's 1 potassium, 1K, 1 chlorine, and 2 oxygen. So is this balanced? No, it's not balanced because we have different numbers of oxygen on each side. So we have to do some things to balance the equation. Yeah, these are balanced, but the bottom two are not. All right, so what can we multiply two times to get three? Two times what equals three? Well, nothing. We can't multiply two times just to get three. So we need to find the least common multiple of two and three. The least common multiple of 2 and 3 is, well, it's 6. So we need to multiply 3 times 2 and 2 times 3. That'll get it. So we have 6 on both sides of the equation. All right, so we're going to start by writing the coefficients here. And um, the first one is going to be 2, because remember I said it has to be 2 times 3. And the second one is going to be 3, because it has to be two, 3 times 2. So we multiply at the bottom here. 3 times 2, and that bottom line here, 2 times 3. 3 times 2 is 6. So now on this side of the equation, we'll have 6 oxygen. And multiply this 2 oxygen times 3. So now we'll over this side of the equation have 6. Now the oxygen is balanced. But we also need to multiply K, potassium, and Cl, chlorine, times 2. So we have to do that here because this coefficient is not only multiplying times the oxygen times 2, which is 6, but it's got to multiply chlorine and the K potassium. So potassium 1 times 2 and chlorine 1 times 2, well, that gives us 2 potassium and 2 chlorine. Now, this unbalances over here. So we have to do some stuff on this side of the equation next. Yeah, now these are out of balance. What do we need to do? What do we need to multiply them by to get them to balance? Well, if we have two over here and one over here, what can we multiply one times to get two? That's right, times two. So write the coefficient up here, which is going to be two. And multiply times two here and here. So potassium one times two is two. And so we have 2 co coefficient times 1 potassium, that's 2. 2 coefficient times two, 1 chlorine, that is also 2. All right, we're almost finished here. Now we've got to check to make sure they are balanced. So we're looking here, potassium, there's 2 on each side, good. Chlorine, there's 2 on each side, good. And oxygen, there's 6 on each side. So this is a balanced chemical equation. All right, and the last slide just shows you what your answer is. All right, we will do another one in just a minute.